Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I have my hashtag Team Project Pan 2022 update. I'm getting this out a week later than I wanted to. Um, as you guys know, I'm really busy at the moment, so I'm actually filming three videos today and that's basically going to be the rest of my September videos. Um, and my next update for this will only be three weeks. So I wanted to get this done last week so that I could have four weeks between updates, but it just, it didn't work out with all the things happening, but it's happening today. This is my update for the end of August, start of September. I have some progress, I have some changes, so let's get into it. First, primer. Last month I introduced the Revlon Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Reducing Primer, um, but unfortunately, quite early in the month actually um the little connector broke off actually can't find it in here and this product is so thick that i can't get it out now i don't particularly find this primer to be fantastic so i'm quite happy to just declutter this it's not something that i feel like i'm really missing in my collection without it i just wanted to use it up because i had it but with the pump broken and not easily able to just like pop the product out, it's not worth the hassle. So what I am introducing this month is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. So I only have one, two full size primers in my collection now. I have the Scandinavia Oil Control Priming Spray and the Becca skin blur primer thing. Um, they're my only two full size primers um, and I've been using the Skin Denavia in combination with this and quite liking it because it's a spray primer. So I wanted to now work through some of my minis because I'm quite happy with those two at the moment and I will repurchase the hourglass again in the future. But that is what I'm working on. It is starting at 30 grams. It is a 10 gram product, so we'll see how we go. Um, foundation, I'm still working on my Misha BB cream. I really, really hope that this is finished by the next update. Um, because like it looks, as you can see, it's right down to the bottom here. So I'm really hoping this is gonna be done in the next three weeks because we are officially in spring and therefore my skin is starting to be less dry and moving to oily and this is too much when my skin starts to get oily. So I'm really hoping that I don't have much left. Um, last month it was 52 grams, it's now 43 grams, which is a nine gram progress compared to only a four gram progress the month before. So I am, very hopeful that this will be done by the next update and honestly if it's not I might just call it done anyway because I'm not going to keep it around for another year till winter again so there's that concealer um last month my Becca concealer weighed in at 23 grams and now weighs in at 22 grams but it is the visual progress you will notice. This is what it looked like last month. And this is what it looks like now. Look at all that pan at the bottom. So now I'm just working away. It is still quite high up on the sides, absolutely. So I'm really going to be working away around the sides for a while. Um, but I've hit pan, which is, I think, <laughs> the biggest accomplishment here. Um, and yeah, I'll just be working away at those sides probably for the rest of the year, but that's okay. Uh, powder. I forgot to get down my Glossier powder, um, but I finished that um, as expected. I finished that up. Um, and I am introducing the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light. Now, I finished the Glossier powder maybe two weeks ago, so I have been using this. Um, I don't love this as an under eye powder, so I've been using the Hourglass Veil to powder to set under my eyes, 
and then this to set the rest of my face. It is quite flat. Um, it is currently weighing in at 73 grams. Um, yeah, and we'll see how long it takes me to get through this. It's again a 10 gram product. So we'll see how it goes. Um, let's move on to pencil products or marked progress products. I've had some really good progress on all of my things this month. Um, obviously I'm still not marking the Marc Jacobs because if you don't know it's come loose at the base so when I twist it all the way up um, it comes loose and is very flimsy. But I have used it, I'm wearing it today and I'm just using it till it either dries up or I hit the bottom. Yeah, you can see it won't even go down. So yes. Still working on it, still going through, still going strong. What I do have quite a bit of visible progress on is my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Sunset Rose Eyeshadow Stick. So, roll it all the way up. It still looks like I have quite a bit to go. But if you look at my paper progress... So this is where the base is, this is where I was when I started, that was last month, not a heap of progress, but then quite a bit of progress in the last month. If I can keep that up, I will have this done by the end of the year, which will be very exciting to have another cream shadow out of my collection, particularly since the first one took me like six months to get through. Yeah, the first one took me six months to get through. The other pencil product that has quite a good bit of progress is well, not a good bit, but a more than usual chunk is my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So that's this one here. Last month it was here, now it's here. Again, it's going to take me quite a while to get through this lip liner. If you have a look, it's still got a good nub on it. I think I'm probably going to get probably up to the Charlotte Tilbury before it stops being sharpenable. Um, but I think I've still got good few months use in this one but I love it so I'm not too upset about that and then my benefit precisely my brow I have the same minimal progress on so it's again the two pencil lines this will take me forever because I just don't fill in my brow with a lot of pencil I do kind of underneath a couple of flicks up and blend it through and then shaping the top but it's really not a lot and then I go in with a tinted gel to really set it down and add the rest of the fill. Not a lot that I do in terms of pencil on my brow so it <laughs> does last quite a long time which is fine by me. All right and then for lip balm my Laneige lip sleeping mask last month was 11 grams now it's 10. Um, I will show you what it looks like last month and this is what it looks like now. I feel like I'm getting quite close to either the bottom or the edges. Um, I know from experience of this being my third Laneige lip sleeping mask that they usually take me just over two months to use. So. Uh, usually takes me two months and either one week and uh, probably about one week to finish up one of these so I think this will still be in the project next update but it will definitely be out by the following update we'll see how I go um, cleanser I was using the pharmacy green clean in the lemon mint scent but I have finished that one up so what I am rolling in is the belief aqua bomb makeup removing cleansing balm it is starting at 159 grams and it looks like this it has the aqua bomb scent which I don't know how it does that oops really interesting 
but this is very fresh. I only opened it once I finished the pharmacy, maybe a week or so ago. So it's a 100ml product, 3.3 fluid ounces. Because as I said, 159 grams. So I think I'll be working through this for a bit. The pharmacy was 89 grams when I started it. And the packaging is quite a bit lighter and it is half the amount of product. So. <coughs> Based on that. Probably four months to use it up. Alright. Um... Last time I introduced a Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask at 103 grams. I finished that up. It is in my empties pile somewhere, but I can't see it right this second. But I'm introducing my last mini Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This is currently weighing in at 114 grams. Um, the other Glow Recipe that I had before weighed in at 103 grams when I started. So... I, as from that, I assume it will probably take two or three months to use this. We'll see how we go, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the scent. I don't use this every night. I use this on alternating nights with my acid treatment. So there's that. And then, shock to everybody, I finally finished my Mother Dirt body oil after many, many months. Six months? One, two, three, four, five, six months took me to use this thing up, but it is finally done. I finally used this up. I'm so glad to have used up a body moisturizing product because as you guys know, I am quite terrible at moisturizing my body, but I'm going to throw another one in and this is going to look to most people like a gimme product. But if you've actually watched me for a while, I've tried to pan this before and I can't do it. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is just a beautiful baby 50ml or 1.5 fluid ounce. And it is basically empty. <laughs> but I still don't think I would use this in a month. I think two or three months for me to use this thing up. It is currently weighing in at 64 grams. If I somehow manage to get through this in a month... I will be very shocked, but I have two more minis of this and of the Bondia, and then one of the Bondia Brights. So, and I have another body moisturizer that's nearly empty. So I need to get through the rest of these moisturizers in my collection because I'm just not great at moisturizing my body. So I want to pick, I want to get through what I have, buy one and use it when I need it and just be happy with that. That is my plan. That is my goal. That is it. Okay. So that, oh no, missed. Missed. Finished my Caudalie as expected and I am rolling in the Pixie Rose Glow Mist. Um, this is a biphase mist, so I only use it under skincare. It is currently weighing in at 96 grams and I know, for, sorry, 98 grams and I know from past experience with Pixie Mists, I had one that started 103 grams and it took me four months to use. So I think this will be taking me till the end of the year and that is okay. All right. So that is it for my project pen update. How are you guys going with your project pans? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe to stay tuned for more. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.